Love is merely a madness. And I tell you, deserves as well a dark house and a whip as madmen do. And the reason why they are not so punished and cured is that the lunacy is so ordinary that the whippers are in love too. <laughs> Men have died from time to time and worms have eaten them, but not for love. Good shepherd, tell this youth what's his to love. It is to be all made of sighs and tears. And so am I for Phoebe. It is to be all made of faith and service. And so am I for Phoebe. It is to be all made of fantasy. All made of passion, all made of wishes, all adoration, duty, observance, all humbleness, patience, and impatience, all purity, all trial all observance. And so am I for Phoebe. For thee, be cheerful. Knowst thou not the Duke hath banished me, his daughter? That he hath not. No, hath not. Rosalind lacks then the love which teacheth thee that thou and I am one. Shall we be sundered? Shall we part, sweet girl? No. Let my father seek another heir. Therefore, devise with me how we may fly, whither to go and what to bear with us. And do not seek to take your change upon you to bear your griefs yourself and leave me out. For by this heaven, now at our sorrows pale, say what thou canst, I'll go along with thee. Why, whither shall we go? To seek my uncle in the forest of Arden. Hang there, my verse in witness of my love. And thou thrice crowned queen of the night, survey with thy chaste eye from thy pale sphere above thy huntress name that my full life doth sway. O oh, Rosalind, these trees shall be my books, and in their bark my thoughts. All character that every eye which their forest looks shall see. Thy virtue witnessed everywhere. Run. Run, Orlando, carve on every tree. The fair, the chaste, and the unexpressive sheep. For a horse with wings. Here's Thal, Pisanio. He is at Milford Haven. Read and tell me how far it is thither. If one of mean affairs may plot it in a week, I may not only fly thither in a day. Then, true Pisanio, who longs like me to see thy lord, who longs, let me think, but not like me yet longs, but in a, a fainter kind, not like me who longs. Beyond, beyond. Say how far it is to this same blessed Milford. But first of all, how we may steal from hence, and for the gap that we shall make in time from our hence going and our return to excuse. But first, how can hence pretty speak? How many score of miles may we well ride twixt hour and hour?
¿Y qué haríais? Me haría una cabaña de sauce a vuestra puerta y llamaría a mi alma que vive en esta casa. Compondría tiernos cantos de amor menospreciados que cantaría toda voz en la calma de la noche. Gritaría vuestro nombre al eco de los montes y haría que la comadre balbuciente de los aires repitiese Olivia. No podríais vivir entre los elementos de aire y tierra sin tener piedad de mí. Tal vez lo consigáis. No, Corin, being old, thou canst not guess. Though in thy youth thou wast as true a lover as ever sighed upon a midnight pillow. Oh, thou didst then never love so heartily. If thou rememberest not the slightest folly that ever love did make thee run into, thou hast not loved. Or if thou hast not sat as I do now, Wearing thy hearer in thy mistress' praise, thou hast not loved. For if thou hast not broke from company abruptly, as my passion now makes me, thou hast not loved. Oh, Phoebe. Phoebe! Phoebe. Oh, cuz, 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 my pretty little cuz that thou didst know how many fathom deep I am in love. But it cannot be sounded. My affection hath an unknown bottom like the Bay of Portugal. Pray you no more of this. Tis like the howling of Irish wolves against the moon. I will help you if I can. I would love you if I could. Tomorrow, meet we all together. <laughs>